y'all, Dixie here. It is storming horribly today in Alabama, so like any mature adult, I decided to come home and build a blanket fort. I was set to record a video today, so I figured I could at least do this to make it fun since I have to record inside. But the poetic part is today I want to talk to y'all about tips every backpacker should know for staying dry. Tip number one is pick the proper rain gear for you. It's easy to think that staying dry is just simply making sure you keep the rain off of you. But if you're sweating so much that all of the layers under your rain gear are completely soaked, then that almost completely nullifies any efforts to stay dry from the rain. For folks like me who are very cold natured and freeze, then having a rain jacket with some pit zips that can give you some basic ventilation might be all that you need paired with a set of rain pants. But if you know you're somebody who is hot natured and you're no stranger to sweating, then having something like a rain jacket paired with a rain kilt or a rain skirt or even a poncho might serve you better because you'll be more ventilated than your standard rain jacket rain pants combo. And that leads me into tip number two which is also about sweat prevention and that is don't leave camp with too many layers or leave a little bit cooler than what you typically think is comfortable. I am absolutely guilty of this, whether it's raining or not. I will leave camp all bundled up. If it's not raining, maybe with my puffy coat. And then I'm hiking along and almost immediately I start getting warmed up and potentially even sweating if I'm too lazy or stubborn to stop five minutes after I've left camp and start shedding layers. Because most of the time when you finally like, okay, I'm hot enough that I need to stop, it's too late and you've already begun sweating. And then if I'm hiking in colder temperatures, because my clothes are now damp, if I do stop for a break later, chances are I'm gonna get cold more quickly because I'm wet than if I had just prevented the sweat in the first place and started off without my puffy coat on a cooler morning. But even when it is raining, this tip applies because if you leave camp bundled up under your rain gear, then if you stop to shed a layer because you're starting to get wet from sweat, you're likely going to get wet from the rain pouring down because you got to take off your rain gear, then take off a layer, and by then, whatever you've got on underneath is going to be wet from the rain. Unless you follow my next tip, which is hike with an umbrella. A lot of people have seen YouTube hikers go with an umbrella to keep the sun off of them, especially on trails like the Pacific Crest Trail, where you have a lot of sun exposure in the desert. But believe it or not, umbrellas work great for the rain too. If you keep your umbrella in what I call one of the cup holders on the side of your pack, then you have easy access to it. So if a storm suddenly rolls in, even just a quick shower, something unexpected, you can reach that easily without taking your pack off as long as you have the flexibility to reach your cup holders. Rather than having to stop, take your pack off, put on your rain gear, and now you're already soaked because the bottom fell out with a quickness. And if it seems like whatever's rolled up is probably gonna pass through pretty quickly, and it's a lighter rain, you might only need the umbrella, and then that way you stay more ventilated and you don't ever start sweating. If not, and you do have to stop and take off your pack and get your rain gear out because it seems like it's gonna stick around for a while, then at least you have the umbrella to hold over you while you're doing that so that whatever you've got on isn't getting completely soaked while you dig out your rain gear. Umbrellas also help keep you warm, at least your upper body, because it prevents rain from falling on you. So even if you do have your rain jacket on, you're not having that constant downpour of water on that material that's touching your skin. So your skin is constantly trying to warm up that surface that's just being drenched with cold rain. So having that umbrella and keeping your upper body more dry will help you keep warmer just because of that. Also when doing stuff with your hands, like checking a GPS or trying to eat a snack, even digging out the snack out of your pack. Just having that umbrella offers a little bit of sanity. That also prevents water from just funneling down your sleeve and soaking your upper body. And last but not least, some 
hikers who wear glasses have said that umbrellas help their glasses not get quite so foggy in the rain. The next tip, tip number four, is make sure your rain jacket stays consistently above whatever bottoms you're wearing. So your rain pants, rain skirt, rain kilt, and this may seem like common sense, but with the motion of hiking, your rain jacket can ride up, exposing your back, and then you're gonna get some nice cold water funneled down into your crack. Tip number five, store your shelter on the outside of your pack. You might be wondering how in the world this will help you stay dry while backpacking, but it allows you, if you're breaking camp in the rain in the morning, to pack everything else up all secure and waterproofed in your pack, and then to have your clothes protected with your rain gear, and then exit your shelter, pack it up, and attach it to the outside of your pack. That way you don't have a pack open in the rain, trying to tear down your shelter quickly and then put a soaked shelter inside to just continue to drain water inside the pack. When you get to camp, if it's raining, you'll already have your shelter on the outside of the pack. You'll be waterproofed, your pack will be waterproofed. So you just take the shelter off the outside of your pack, set it up and then put your body in with your pack and from there you can take off your rain gear and open up your pack where it's gonna allow the contents to stay dry. I have certainly gone backpacking before where I store my tent on the inside of my pack and if you're hiking somewhere where it doesn't typically rain in a drier climate like again the desert of the Pacific Crest Trail then you're not going to have to worry about rain as much so if that's your preference so be it but I've done it both ways and it just makes sense to me just in case if you think there might possibly be some rain to have that shelter on the outside and as I've already mentioned having it out there once it's already soaked is nice to allow some of that water weight to drain off of it while you're hiking throughout the day. The next tip, tip number six, is pack a piece of ShamWow. If your tent has condensation or things have gotten damp because you got in with your wet rain gear and pack, or even if you end up springing a leak in your shelter in the middle of the night, specifically a tent, it's nice to have some sort of cloth to just dry things up. But that ShamWow material, and it doesn't have to be that specific brand, absorbs so much water, and then you can wring it out and use it again. If you want a biodegradable version of this, you can look into Swedish dishcloth. I've used a bandana before in the past and it seems to do decent for the first swap, but once it gets pretty good and wet, it just doesn't function as well anymore and seems to more or less just smear water everywhere. Tip number seven is plan for the worst. If you're gonna be hiking a whole day in pouring rain and stormy weather, chances are you're gonna end up wet from the rain or from the sweat. So in this instance, you wanna make sure you've got on some wicking materials like synthetic fabrics and also insulating layers that work well to keep you warm even if they're wet like merino wool. That way, even if you don't stay dry, you're still as comfortable as you can be and you're minimizing your risk of hypothermia. Finally, always make sure that your sleeping bag and a warm, dry change of clothing is waterproofed inside of your pack. So not just the pack cover over your pack and you're good to go, but have a pack liner with your sleeping bag and warm dry clothing rolled down in it or even a for sure waterproof stuff sack. Just something so that when you do get in your shelter for the night, if you've been in soppy, soggy, wet clothing all day, you can get in there and bundle up and be warm and dry. Definitely, no matter what you do, change into some dry socks if you are somebody who sleeps in socks. Even if your socks are, oh, they're just a little bit damp, you don't wanna risk hypothermia, trench foot, and other nasty foot funk. So having a nice dry pair of socks to sleep in and also an extra pair to hike in the next day if the sun has actually come out and things have dried up. Just not having a start in freezing cold, soggy socks is very nice. All right, y'all, well, that is all I have for you today on tips for staying dry while you're backpacking. If y'all have any suggestions you didn't hear in this video, please feel free to share in the comments below because we can all learn from each other here. Thank y'all so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, 
make sure to share it with a friend and we will see y'all next time.